Walk into the door, Mr. Costa. Part of my philosophy as a director is to sort of get everyone together 10 days or at least a week before and during the rehearsal process, you become friends, you become partners, you become collaborators. And for me, it's important that everyone feels involved. There are very few films you have this amazing experience where the director is really nice and everybody's doing so much character study and research into psychopaths. And I thought, it's that great thriller that comes along every once in a while and you're halfway through it and you think you know exactly what's going to happen. And then it just makes all these turns and surprises you. I always say it's less of a who done it, but it's also a why done it, you know? So it's a combination of trying to figure out why the killer's done it and, and how he's behaving and why he's behaving that way. I'm in a quest. All right, stand by. Here we go. I think you're always looking for things within this genre to make it unique. Frankly, every now and then you find a piece of material that you think that you can raise the bar. I think. You have to set out with very lofty goals, and you have to set out believing that you have the potential to make something really special. Uh, and this is no exception. Back on action, ready, and action! Great! We have a great script that originally was written by John Bokenkamp, who's a fine young writer, and then Hilary Seitz, who wrote Insomnia, came in. And when Warner Brothers approached me about the script, and before I even read it, I said, well, is anybody interested? And they said, well, Angelina Jolie is. And so having read it, knowing that they can potentially make this movie with her, it was very exciting. I loved the script and thought, I didn't know what kind of a movie it was going to be. I just wanted to be a part of it and explore it. And now it's actually become this many-layered, very in-depth, very interesting character-driven film. This had a lot of things going for it. Mark Canton producing the show, Angelina Jolie and Ethan Hawke are two fantastic actors. And so all of those things combined with the script make you start to get excited about, oh, where, the, where is this thriller going to really go? Ethan expressed an interest in, in making the movie. It seemed like such a great opportunity and such a great chemistry. You know, it's kind of a classic thriller structure. Well, I was really interested in doing the movie, I kind of like the genre. I saw this man. We seem to make him very nervous. Things are not always like they look like, in a movie or in life. That's all about the subject of this movie also. Who is who, really? That's the wonderful thing about a thriller, is that nothing should be as it seems. The one thing that I, I really admire about this piece is that it doesn't just have a twist that is thrown in there because it confuses everybody. It's a very honest movie in that way. So, you know, you do have the thrills, you do have the twists, and at the same time as you try to figure it out, if you go home and you think back about the movie, it does all make sense. You want the logic of a movie to make sense and to have it ha have a, its own continuity because it's important if you're teasing people that it has the right payoff. Because the movie that we wanted to make was a movie that had no holes, no logic gaps. It's a very frustrating experience as an audience member and you go, well, that doesn't make sense. It takes you out of the movie. And we didn't want anybody to have that experience. We did a huge amount of research with both the FBI and with the profilers and with the people that spend their careers and lives tracking and hunting serial killers. We were looking for some expertise because they want to do it uh, the way we do it at the Sotheby's Quebec. Francois has been incredible. You know, he's helped us with the research. He's helped us do things right. We've been able to portray the, the SQ as accurately as possible for a film. I'm more at ease with murderers, drug dealers, thieves, and now I'm doing, dealing with a movie. Quite a difference in my life. All right, first position. Basically, our set is an identical copy of the Circle Quebec, which is sort of like the provincial police department that they have there. And so if we're dramatically interpreting it, but I want to be as accurate as I can. I don't understand why he needs to bring in someone else. I mean, we, we've got everything under control. Key to this movie, like any good movie is, you know, a good story well told. And there's not that many tricks here. You know, it's performance and storytelling. I think it's sort of a crime thriller love story, which is which is very unique when you start to combine all these genres. And I just want to make sure the actors feel like it's a completely collaborative process, so that when we go off and make the movie, we know exactly where we're going. And Action. <laughs> 
Okay, ready? 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 He was attacked from behind and it's just... <laughs> Do you know where I learned all my words? <laughs> Action? Bon anniversaire! <laughs> Sorry. She claimed to have seen <laughs> She was on the flight, but they can't have a problem. Yeah, kind of guys we turn on you know what I mean. Asian scan, she proof of Avec un papier et un crayon. No, that's my No it isn't. <laughs> Still worrying? What do you think? Oh, yes, okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. No, it's sorry. a funny guy.